Welcome back to the next question. This is Josh Pellet with Braulio Gallegos and Ashley Avilas and Deja Henry. And we're gonna start off with social media behavior. Ashley brought to my attention, pick me girls. I have no idea what that means. Can you please enlighten me? So pick me girls is, it's like these group of girls on uh, social media, Twitter, Instagram, that they're just like, oh, like I love to cook or oh, when I have a man, like I'm gonna give them all. It's the like the rides. girls that want the guys to pick them. Like, yeah. look at me, I Attention. do all yeah. of this Force stuff. I agree yeah. with everything you say, wife me. I'm like, oh, I hate girls that just like want to twerk all day. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the girls that put like other girls down, down yeah. and. Uh-huh. Also, in like, like, make themselves. I love to grill. Girls really just don't like to grill, but me, I do. I love right. it. Like, like, so they're just trying to put themselves on a pedestal. Basically. Yeah, right. exactly. Okay. Yeah. But they pick. Mind I've you, never the seen these girls, by the way. Me. I've never seen ne- Does that shit work? Does it work? I don't know. Would it work? I think it'd be annoyed. I think it'd be annoyed. Right? Have you yeah. seen it on like Twitter or like? Maybe you no. guys just like scroll past it because you're like. Okay. I think it's on Twitter more, right? No, it's, it's on both. Yeah. Nah, I feel like girls always retweet shit like, "Oh, men are so great when they cook." So I'm like, bro, like. Yeah, I never. Seen I retweet shit that are like, "Men are not shit." <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm like, uh, get three men never. because you never know who's gonna act right. <laughs> Have your options. <laughs> well, Openly. <laughs> but we get we get just we get fucking torn down if we have options. I mean, I get called out when I do anything for clout by my friends. I mean, okay. when I, girls, yeah, girls, 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 girls are worse though. Right? Like you like to post at a certain time. Eight <laughs> thirty. What is that about? What's that about? I have a friend about? who does that too. He posts yeah. only on certain days at a certain time. <laughs> That's you. That's you. That's Dude, I'll post at 2 in the morning. I don't give a fuck. I'm like, <laughs> no, eventually. Because, see you. I'm just like 3 a.m. drunk. Like, hey, I'm feeling myself, guys. <laughs> Once you use Instagram as like okay. a business mm-hmm. or like for engagement or let's say clout, whatever it may be, mm-hmm. you have to know what time yeah. people are like. And it's obviously oh, working for you. Liking like, your shit. You know, so that's the time that's you crazy. get the engagement. There's a science to this. There's a there's science. science. And it's a proven, like, there's an algorithm. Like, there's really? certain people that are like on there. Like, it's backed, but like, it's successful. I mean, I don't know how many followers you have in our nah, Instagram. You have fifty likes. She has it. like, are you kidding me? She's like, <laughs> okay. like one follower away from being like, what is it verified? Oh, no. the blue check mark. Like, that's yeah, not true. Yeah, cool. but okay, wait, wait. <laughs> ten thousand. We're on the journey. 10, followers. You are you almost verified? Maybe. <laughs> I'm so I'm so interested. We'll see. How does it work to, to we'll be? See. How's it work to be verified? Does somebody contact Wait, you? Do they get paid? You have to. You can get paid off of brands, but mm-hmm. there's a lot of things that go into it. It's just like if you're known, if yeah, like basically if you're known, if you're like a public figure or celebrity or whatever yeah, yeah. it may be. What's the perks of being verified? Do you get to the very top of the DMs? That's what I, that's what I heard. If you're in, if you're oh, verified, really? you DM somebody, you go to like. The very that's top. not Is true. Is that not true? Okay. Yeah, you but know, I, I wouldn't know. Like we usually <laughs> do have like in our DMs like a few verified. People, I mean, it's, it's just kind of like I guess that's kind of just like an ego thing, you yeah. know? It's like there's some guys that are gonna care that like someone that's verified, a girl is like, hey, what are you doing? You know? It's like obviously they're gonna oh she's verified, let me get at her. Like vice sometimes versa. the opposite too. I feel like. If Ew, verified, you're like, verified. There's no shot. There's yeah. no shot. I mean, like you're like, doing too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it must be fraud. Um, well, well, it's just like verify. Like, yeah, one. My DM is gonna be one of thousands. Yeah, like, there's yeah, no true. Way. No, yeah. so not that I want to burn myself out, but getting a DM from a verified person is like getting a DM from any regular person. Right. You just yeah. see the uh-huh. blue check uh-huh. oh, okay. rather no, than. I don't believe that. It's Do you true. want to see? No, 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 like, oh, no, I'm saying yeah. your, your mentality. I thought that's what you're saying. Just no, it's okay. in, sure. on Instagram. Yeah. Like, if someone with the blue check DMs you, it's the same as getting a DM. Your mentality is somebody with the blue check DMs you. What do you think? Well, right. they can be finished for it's anything, like right? Whatever. I don't You're whatever? Yeah. I, I mean, for me. Freak the fuck out. I mean, yeah. for me, like. That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> just, I guess it's different for girls. Like, for me, for example, like, I'm really big into, like, the boxing scene. Like, I love the boxing scene. So if I have a yeah. fighter, like, in my DM, I'll be like, okay, whatever. Like, sure you're a cool fighter but i'm not gonna respond to your dm and same for deja like i'm sure she has like nba players like in her i i don't know (laughs) 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 but if someone with the blue check dms me i feel like now it's just like whatever i'm over it but like before Mm -hmm. when i was just starting out in this industry it'd be like cool but now i'm like I know I see you every week. Yeah, I know no you. Yeah. You know it's yeah. like a, they're human beings at the end of the day to me now. How many DMs on average do you get in one week? You would say 
I think it just like depends on like uh, what you post <laughs> too. Like you it. know, um, I usually don't post post anything like provocative. Mm-hmm. Like I usually post more memes than anything. Yeah, yeah, um, that's, that's my type of girl right sure. there. So yeah. I, I actually get a I lot of DMs like about that. Blind date right now. Um, <laughs> dude, my Facebook is all memes. My family's like, dude, and I speak Spanish. I'm Mexican, yeah, right? So yeah, so it gives you double the memes. People are to like, post. oh, you ja ja ja, and you ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> I put both fucking memes. That's hilarious. I love it. Yeah, me master. So <laughs> I, I usually, but when I do like post. Like a, like a good picture then like I'll get like hella DMs and I'm like whoa 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 like I'll even just like stay away from the app altogether yeah. cause really? I get really? like really weirded it's annoying. out yeah. men no offense voice. are the creepiest Perverts. things Absolutely. on this planet I agree and I agree. so 100%. you post I'm cooking they're like Ooh, I wanna what are you gonna make me like, <laughs> <laughs> like something <laughs> creepy I don't even know how to be Sorry. that creepy it's like I want to suck your toes on that right? fucking. Like, I'm like, like dude, I'm cooking toes. Yeah, yeah. Like, what are you talking let's about? Let's your toe in avocado. Okay? Yeah. Like, come on, it's sick. That. That's crazy. It's what, really what's sick. What's the weirdest DM you've ever got? <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> 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 it happens so often that it's just I'm so normal to me now. I'm trying to think of like, one of your really weird ones. Because you've had like, plenty of weird ones. I feel like I don't get as many weirdos, but you do. Someone was like, <laughs> I can't even repeat it. They were like, I want to like spit in your butthole and like slurp it out and like just people do out that of, out of pocket. I stuff. guess like I'm I don't disgusted know. by her. DMs. Is that a normal thing? To him? Spitting in buttholes? Maybe to oh, him. I mean, to I don't know. Because a couple episodes back, I got like called out because apparently I never spit in somebody's mouth and nobody spit in my mouth. And, oh. I, <laughs> <it's their face. laughs> and I was like crucified for it. And I'm just like, Whoa, hold on. People spit in buttholes? Oh, like. People won't admit to all the crazy shit they really do. There's a lot I mean, of stuff that goes on in the bedroom that just people really just won't mention. About. Yeah. yeah, well, they spoke about it, and I was just like <laughs> thrown back. I was like, and we were the weird ones. <laughs> yeah, I was the weird one. Oh, you were. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe you were ashamed for that, though. Like, So you have spit in someone's never. mouth? Neither of you. No. Okay. I've, not in the mouth. I mean, I've never spit in someone's mouth. <laughs> yeah, no, I've never that's crazy. spit in someone's no, mouth. for real. What? I don't feel like <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's super fake. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Uh, no, I don't think I have either. That's like I've never saying. spit in someone's right. mouth. <laughs> okay. But you've had your spit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, next topic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Mom. Yeah. Yeah. All right. S- staying with the <laughs> Jesus. Staying Same with the mean. DMs. Sugar daddy DMs. How prevalent are those these days? So I feel like ever since like COVID hit, like there's been like crazy sugar, like sugar daddy DMs, yeah. like left and right. And I'm just like, okay, like every like group chats are like, hey, I just got this one today. Oh, I got this one today, and it's like it's everywhere. Like you know what I think them. it is. Scammers. I'll be honest. It's definitely scammers. Scammers for sure, dude. But I'll take my chances. But <laughs> right. If I had a sugar mama, like, hey, I'll give you a hundred bucks for whatever. I'm like. Phew. They're right. for sure scammers. I think it's scammers now because of COVID, but sugar daddies reaching out to people on Instagram is definitely a real thing. How do you handle that? Do you ignore it? Do you respond? Do you block them? You don't respond to anything, right? I rarely respond to okay. things just because it's, it's just... It's a waste of time, right? I would it's, feel like, yeah. it's too much. Time. Like, yeah. I'm not trying to say this to be cool, but I get so many fucking DMs a day yeah. that yeah, it's yeah, hard to keep track. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. to even have to respond to one, it's just yeah. a lot. Mm-hmm. But yeah. when I sometimes when I'm bored, I'll look through it just to see what people are saying, <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be creepy shit. And like I've gotten, I probably have four right now in my inbox saying yeah. like, "I'll send you a thousand dollars if you send me a picture of your feet or whatever." And like sometimes I'll do it. Sometimes you get the money. Yeah, I make sure I get the money before Why don't I even you do send all anything. Of those? Oh my god. Like I said, I, I don't do have the time to feet. fucking for, go take a picture of your feet everything. for a thousand bucks. I'll take a picture of my feet right well, now and we can send it. Your feet have to be, like, you know, you want your feet to There's certain like, ones I'll do. There's certain ones where it's like, come to dinner with me. And I'm like, oh, really? So that's weird, yeah. I don't want to be seen, like, yeah, that's like a whole nother out with an old like guy. An right. 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 Yeah. I'm not yeah. doing that. Okay. So what about, what bothers you on social media? Like, over-editing pictures? From what you see from girls, <laughs> what if a girl's Instagram picture is all filtered? What do you th- so, but like crazy filters. Like I've seen people that post pictures that's like it's taken on Snapchat and it's filtered on Snapchat, then it gets put on Instagram, then it gets filtered on Instagram. You know what? Yeah. It's like, like four layers of just My opinion on that is what? like, if it's gonna be on your Instagram story, it's fine to mm-hmm. play with the Snapchat filters. Yeah. Bring it to yeah. Instagram. Fuck it. Be playful. Uh, am I allowed to cuss? Yeah. Fuck okay. yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, fuck it. Like put it on your story. But when it's like actually like on your profile and all the pictures on there are just 
filters of Insta or Snapchat, it's mm-hmm. like, what the fuck do you look like? You know, right. like, yeah. what? So who are you? I do that on my story because I just like the on filters. However, in the industry that I'm in, yeah, not to be a hater because I'm not, but I have met people in real life that don't look what you look that like. look nothing yeah. like their Instagram. Yeah, it doesn't and have to be in your industry. It's I, fucking I've met crazy. Like that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, how? What apps do you use? Yeah. Because I <laughs> might want to use them. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. honestly, they look so good on Instagram. They mm-hmm. over edit it. I don't even know how, who, what, when, where. Mm-hmm. And I don't know the apps. Right. But it's fucking they crazy it. how much you can edit yourself okay. on Instagram. I do because like one filter at the most. Like, if I, I post mean, a picture, sure. like. Like if it's it's like kind of dark, I'll do a filter to like lighten up the picture. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I don't. do you guys ever call out your homies for like puckering their lips on pictures, yeah. or is that you just do does that happen? I do that. <gasps> I don't. I don't do that. Don't listen to it. Come on. Dude. I would like I to see. It. I'm gonna that. look at your Instagram you after this. We can look at it right now. If you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get lip fillers. I like the duck bro. face. I don't do the duck face. So clearly, you guys don't call each other out on the lip puckering because well, now he's doing we're it bringing now. it up. So yeah. tell him right now. Wait, what? She said you're calling me out right now. Yeah, I've like, seen you do it. Whatever. I'll Maybe so you're messing around, but I've seen you do it. So guys, yeah. clearly don't call each other out. I'm like, Not bro, like girls. you're kind of like puckering your lips a little Have bit. Have you ever called her out? I feel like that's just something that girls do, though. We pucker our lips in pictures. No. You've, I mean, what are, are I my pictures <laughs> bad? <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm like, you know, I wish they hype each other up. Like, right. No, I yes, wanna give, bro. I want to give my boys comments like you guys right. are. Like, girl, like, bro, you yes, look good. Yes, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always in mind. You just I'm get boner. About I hype you up. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. I, I, get, I get my sister comments on my shit. Like, I don't like how you look in that picture. You should take it off. Like, my sister, too, hater. Like, chill, dog. Hater. I like the picture. She's not a hater. She just get like, a heads up, right? Like, And sometimes I'll run the picture through her, too. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I won't lie about it. I'll be like, hey, my lady, I want to post this picture. She'll be like. Um, well, this, that, or she's like, oh, I really like it. Do it. Or she even filter it for me. Like she'll put a filter oh, in and send it back. That's sweet. That's I get sweet. a lot of haters on photos that I post. I feel like with the more followers you get on Instagram comes yeah. with the more, people, the more haters. The territory. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And so when I do look through my DMs mm-hmm. on those rare occasions, I'll be like, they'll be like, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should do this. And then I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You're so like, why are you even Right. I'm like, first of all, this body is going to be seen on my Instagram, okay? And if you don't like it, block. Like yeah. the one you posted yesterday, people will hate on that? Yeah, I'll get... yesterday? I did. It's fire. You didn't like no. it? No. Oh, my God. Right. I did not and even And she's supposed to be my friend. Aren't you guys best friends? Yeah, yeah but like... Oh, I thought yeah, so. I was I'm, on it. Hey, like, I'm your best friend. I like all the pictures. <laughs> yeah, I like all your pictures. Actually, my, you know what? It's funny. Okay, confession. All my best friends have... All my best friends. That sounds weird. <laughs> all my good friends have um, notifications, so I know when I, they post. That's oh a good God, bro. That's, that's really a good bro. sweet. Mm. That's, that's not I sweet. Mean, it's just, I'm just like full. Well, maybe. No, yeah. I thought. Like when he posted, like it like it notifies me. Like first, like oh my yeah. God. You know what? I, I thought she was my friend. <laughs> that's fucking weird. Clearly, I, no, I not. love that shit. You don't have my notifications, dude. Anymore. I should put on Prick. my note. I'm sorry. I never even thought of that. That's a really yeah, good idea. Yeah, it's fine. We won't talk okay, about it. What about guys? What do you hate that they post on their profiles? Say that word for uh, me. Misogyny. I can't say that word, but. I just like hate the, you know, it's like kind of like a thing or like kind of popular for guys to just like be total douchebags to women and like that's pretty fucked up. Mm-hmm. Um, and y- but what know. kind of post is that? Like what what okay like what Can what kind elaborate? of picture or post like shows that? Okay, for me, I don't know for you. Mm-hmm. I don't even know if this goes with it, but like I hate when guys do like too much shirtless shit or like too many right. selfies. Mm-hmm. No. I mean, I yeah. get it if you're like a fitness model, but like if you're like in the mirror shirtless all the fucking time, oh, it's like we fuck, we fucking get it. You like know? you know, <laughs> but I've ever seen a guy that like posts too many selfies. I'm like, you're a whore. Like I don't, I don't selfies. Be with like why are you guys you? taking okay. selfies? So let, I don't let's get it. Define selfies, right? Selfies is like you're taking a picture of yourself. Right? Let me show you. Right. It's like this. Yes. Why is a man yeah. i mean that's yeah. also really but a fucked picture of us of a to man say to another person that's not a selfie, that's, fine. Right? that's okay. fine that's fine okay because what if you're just by, what if you're just by yourself in all your pictures is that weird no because i feel like if i was a guy i would do that too because i'm very like private on like who i hang out with mm-hmm. so it's like i mean i'll post my girlfriends here and there but i will never post if i'm like with a guy ever like ever 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 like, no, i'm talking about the guy post so just yeah by him. Okay, so if okay. i was a guy i would definitely be the same exact way like really? i'm i don't want to cock block myself so i'm just gonna take pictures of myself but doesn't that show you don't have friends mm, you know i'm different than you i do like to see the friend group you do 
because I'd like to see there might the be options. Somebody better in the fan group. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see the options. And, he's down and, and it's like, boom, done. <laughs> yeah. No, no it is yeah. attractive when a man has friends. It like, is, it is. You and you're not always alone. Like, what are you doing? Who's the, taking these well, fucking pictures? Well, the majority of my you? pictures are of me, but my stories are always filled with these idiots. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. so I'm consistently doing You know like, what, though? <laughs> I'm going to say something, though. When I see, like, a guy always, always posting with his guy friends, I'm like, oh, clearly he's like, he doesn't have time for me. He doesn't have time for me. And he's immature. He's immature. Well, what if he's just single with his friends? Saturdays I'm with the boys, you know? Like, it's <laughs> but if it's like, like e- Monday through Monday, yeah. you're with the boys. Like, like do you have a job? Oh, okay, you yeah, clearly yeah, don't true. have like a feminine side where you like want to have a girlfriend. Or a job. Or a job. Yeah. Or a <laughs> hobby. Or a hobby. Or like, what do you yeah. do besides drink White Claws and chill with your homies, you know? Oh. like. And why do, you, why do no, men do, drink do so many White Claws? <laughs> I don't understand that. But anyways. Yeah, so... My thing with the misogynistic shit is I don't like when men comment on the things women do online, such yes. as being half naked mm-hmm. only fans. or only fans like, what, or what WAP. Fuck does have to do with you? Or That's weird. I love the WAP. I'm on TikTok all the, the time. WAP. I think it's so fun. You know how to do it's the dance? fun. No. Do it now. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. stay tuned after <laughs> when he's going to do the dance. <laughs> I'm wearing jeans. There's no way I get my. Oh, we have sweats up upstairs. No, no, surprise. Chill, chill. There's another guy, though. <laughs> so, but I, that's the thing I hate to see on mm-hmm. fucking. It's like people 100%. nowadays have too many opinions. Yes. There's so much sensitivity. You I'm can't so ever be yourself just... because someone is going to be offended by yeah. that one thing you say. And it's just. Sometimes a fucking snooze fest to be on Twitter, Instagram, because people are just, they just post haters. Yeah. yeah, haters. Do you have are your profiles on private? No, no. mine can't be. No, <laughs> mine isn't. Either. Okay, so let's say there's a guy you like. Mm-hmm. Okay, what is the FBI work you're gonna do to look at this guy? Oh, that's good. I don't, that's but then I hit up Deja, and I'm like, Dej, <laughs> do your thing, and she does her thing. I well, before before you start, okay. why don't you do it? I don't care. And I don't have, I don't, I don't give like the, because Ooh. I like personally don't like want to like go on the page and like do all these things. And she has an eye for it. Like when I'm telling you she has an eye for it, I really don't have the eye for it. Like I'll go on their page and be like, okay, cool. I'm done. Like I'm just over yeah. it. But she gives me the whole highlight, dude. She'll be in there Next for like, friends, two, mom, she'll be like, this is a cousin, the brother, the this, the this and that. And I'm like, wow, thank you so much. That's cool. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, and yeah. like. Disclaimer, I'm not crazy. She's not crazy. I'm just good at but, what I do. No, but you know she what? cares about me. <laughs> I'm not, I'll be 100% honest. My sister's the same way. My yeah. sister, like the other day, we were just having a conversation, and I, we were talking about somebody, and then and she goes like, oh, didn't she date, like, blah, blah, blah? And I was like, no, That's I don't know. Either. And then she stayed quiet, and she was on the couch, I was in the kitchen, and she goes, and all of a sudden, my phone blows up. She's across the room from me. Like, all these pictures, boom, boom, boom. Like, yeah, look, she dated this guy from mm-hmm. this year to this year and this year to this year. I'm like, Because it's so easy. Fuck? And she's like, connection. Like, she's like she's the FBI. Like, okay, let's hear the work. What, what do you do? It's so oh, easy. And I'm not going to give all my secrets because. <laughs> no, I've seen her do it. It's crazy. Like, filter through comments, filter through likes. She like sees it's like, so which, easy. like is consistent or like if they're tagged and it's right. crazy. It's just like that's there's a her. pattern. It's just easy. It's like that's not easy. They, <laughs> Instagram no. gives no. you all of the clues tools. and tools to be a fucking stalker and FBI agent. Not that I'm a stalker, but <laughs> they like it's it's there. Public information yeah. for you to see. All you have to do is click it and yeah. then it, it brings up mom, dad, sister, ex, whatever. Yeah. And it's some people don't have the time or energy. Yeah. I personally don't have the energy. COVID has given me the time and energy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so have you ever done that? I, I'm You've more like, that. I'm like, you're cheese muscle. I want to know. I want to know. know. Right? I'm, I'm like a little bit like if I, uh, and then I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, you're getting too crazy. Bro. Yeah. But I'm the type you know, like, who will look at it and not let it bother me. Like I will yeah. look at it and I will oh, say, okay. okay. And I'll never bring it up to someone like I seen this, I did that. Like you just have it in the I just ha- I just like know it. Knowledge. But I'll never like hold it against someone if that makes sense. Okay, all right. Some sp- specific questions. Okay. Do you look through their tag photos immediately? Is that the first thing you do? It's one of them. Wow, I never even I've never even thought of that. Dude, I okay, we've talked about this <laughs> on a la- on a like a show. And now I'm like scarred because every time I add somebody, I'm like tag photos. Tag I'm photos, gonna do photos. that now. You can like, um take your tag photos off. How do you? That, yeah. I do that. What, is, what does it mean if somebody takes off their tag photos? Are they hiding something? I do. They I take off be. my tag photos because a lot of the times, like, I just don't like the picture. People just want to put, like, the I pictures do that on that Facebook. They look I good filter in. my tag photos. Yeah. You my could do that on Instagram. Some weird yeah. angles. And I'm like, but what if they Dude, take off all of them? I do that. You have no tag I photos. I don't like people to tag me in pictures at all. You're like, sketchy. I just don't. She 
I'm Let me tell you, nah. she's the <laughs> sketchiest person. I don't even know if we're truly best friends because I she she's hides so a lot dramatic. on Instagram. I do not, but I do hide a lot on Instagram. But because I just like rather people not know about my life. Yeah. Well, you want to filter what you want to put out there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I understand. Exactly. And that's that the works. best mm-hmm. probably way to be on yeah. Instagram, okay. to be honest. One more question. Do you look at who your friends have been followed by? Like, let's if see who followed she asked me. Okay, so funny story. So she went on a date yesterday and she didn't tell me with who. So I went through who followed her recently and I looked through and I was like, oh, it's him. But it didn't end up being the guy. But (laughs) who do you think it was? I'm not going to say it. Yeah. But (laughs) that's how you find out shit. Like, okay. I just like don't like telling her. It's so quick. It's literally like dates with because it's like I never end up liking them anyway. So what's the point? Like I'm telling my best friend. Because I would okay, like to well, know. Well, we know girls that are complete opposite that know like every single move they make. You know what I mean? Like they're like step by step, play by play. Yeah. That's, that's so what if she gets kidnapped by whoever the whoever you're with, and then I'm on the news, and yeah, they're like, do. "Oh, so, so you don't know the guy she's with?" And then I'm embarrassed because that's her point. And I'm watching you be like, "What kind of friend is this?" Right. And they're like, "Bad." Really? She didn't know her. And then well, I'm the bad friend. The best friend doesn't know shit. Yeah. And then I'm the one embarrassed. Like, think about me when you're doing this. Right. No, I, I, you guys should really start. Girls are weird nowadays too. We share so. everything. Oh, you don't yeah. have to tell us that. We know that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we want. It. Oh, that's a that's Hostel. a good topic. Hostile. Crazy stories about girls. Girls stalking you guys girls on stalking. Instagram. Those are always interesting. Not on Instagram, but but, but real life. life or in life. Okay, in I want to hear them. Go. You I'm trying to think. Um, not, maybe not like stalking, but like overbearing texting, like triple Ooh. texting. That freaks me the fuck out. Yeah. Freaks me out. Uh. Triple texting. Hey, it's because like reply, what's up. What are you doing? Like, bro, I didn't text you. Not like, do you girl. have a reply, job? Not, not that you like, do it, but like, I'm assuming that's how girls feel, right? Oh, like, when the guy is when, when, when the guy keeps going. When a guy going, keeps going, I'm like, bro, I didn't reply the first time. Like, why would you keep going? Yeah, that's yeah. true. And then there's a third true. one, and you're like, dude, the second time, the first one, like, you know. So, do you have I your red you. receipt on? I don't. You don't. With me, don't. she does. Do you have your red receipt on? No. You seem like the type that has your red receipt on. You know, I used to, but I don't like hurting people's feelings. Since when? She's been that way since I've been <laughs> since I don't know. Because you don't give a fuck. Ever, stop like, acting like you can. I'm a nice person. I don't think you guys actually yeah. really nice know per- her because she's the most sensitive person I know. I'm she's, really nice. You're nice, but like you also like ghost people, I feel like. I do. Right? But I don't want to hurt their feelings knowing that they've I've read their text. So how do you ghost somebody without hurting somebody's feelings? They don't know I've read their text. No. <laughs> I could be busy. Yeah. Okay. It's been two years. I'm sure she's really busy. <laughs> she's in the shower. <laughs> and weird. I'm the type to like hit someone up after two years like, hey, sorry, I've been busy. Sorry, I've been so busy. <laughs> Mental I've health like, stuff. But you look like kind of good triple, now. <laughs> I've had like the triple text, but it's like, well, I was in a relationship. Like, why aren't you answering? Like, what are you doing? I'm sure you were somebody. That's blah, blah. a little different. Like, yo, different. I was taking a shit. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> or sometimes like, you do take a nap, bro, you like, know, and they don't yeah. believe you that you're napping. I've had, I've had, like, I've had girls like pull up to my house when I'm like, <gasps> well, it was my fault too. Cause I said, when we're talking about like, <laughs> when I'm talking about crazy, I'm talking about like, you're not dating these girls. Well, yeah. Like you're uh, not in a relationship well, ex, with them. It was an ex. Like you're not in a relationship mm. with them. You're just talking to them. You're just casually dating yeah. them and they do some really out of pocket shit. Like, well, I guarantee you guys have had girls that have stalked you guys on Instagram without saying anything which is just it's a given Mm -hmm. but like has they have they done anything that is like like out of pocket just wild weird what's out of pocket Oh, well, one time we knew this like, girl. What did you do out of pocket? Oh, I've never done anything weird. Mm. I really don't give a shit to do anything. She knows out of too much about out of pocket. To I not really have done just it. don't give that much energy to anybody to just be like, oh, God, I'm next. <laughs> but uh, we did hear about this one girl that broke into someone's house. Um, oh, okay, and I've never had that. So yeah, that's. that's cool. Oh that's yeah. Like, no, you know? well, most girls that I know yeah. like know that my dad's like law enforcement, so uh-huh. they, they would not. They break wouldn't. Into my house. Mm. That was not happening. But I've had girls like wait outside my house for me. Like you're not here. Like that's where are also you? really Fuck. fucking weird. Like yeah, is that normal? Do you, he has oh, like no. never. He's mind. like that's normal. But anyway, <laughs> uh, like I'm sorry, I've never done. <laughs> that like anyway. that sounds kind of normal. That's fucking <laughs> weird. I haven't. I haven't really ever been like psycho over anyone. I've I mean, I've probably like tri- I triple text and quadruple text you every yeah, day. Yeah, my best friends. Not fine. different. Yeah, it's fine. Like, I don't do it to a guy because it's like, mm, I don't, yeah. I'd rather people not think I'm a psychopath. I went to like a really crazy not phase um, <laughs> with my ex. We were together for five years though. So I was like actually really crazy. And after that, I was like, I'm never putting on much effort. Yeah, yeah. Like I, 
Yeah. All right. It wouldn't be right if I didn't ask Deja about Go Crazy. It is like my favorite song. The video's fire. And he plays like 50 times a day, by the way. I, I play, I do. He's like, it's a great song. I, mean, I know. It's a, it's a great song. And my friend's in it. So I'm like, fuck yeah. yeah. And she's like one of the main people. So yeah. let's start with how did you get on that music video? Well, in LA. I don't know how to explain it. Like, there's just casting directors that hit you up all the time. Like, hey, do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? Like, those are the reasons I look through my DMs all the time because people hit me up for, like, a job opportunity. So someone had hit me up mm -hmm. to be in it. And I was like, yeah, like, I love that song. Like, let's yeah. do it. I didn't know I was going to be in it as much as I was. Mm -hmm. But I'm really grateful that I was. And Do they set you up like that? Or do you just, like, fight for the front scene? I fought for the front scene there because okay. on in those kind of like environments, there's so many girls. There was like yeah. 50, 60 girls casted. Yeah, look, yeah. You could definitely see that. So yeah. like, of course I was placed yeah. and I was placed like near the front, but yeah. like once they start filming, you're all like the girls come yeah, yeah. and you're just like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to get to the front too. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, is it a fun process? Like, do you have a good time while you're filming? It's so yeah. fun. I mean, yeah. there's certain videos where, like, for me now, this is like a job. You yeah. know, it's not like fun. But Go Crazy was definitely one of those that was fun. Like, is it an all day thing? It feels like it's an all day thing. Go all Crazy day. was 12 hours of filming. Fuck. So, what do you do for 12 hours? I was there from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And I. That's crazy. Did people drink on set? I drink. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I mean. Okay, what interaction do you have with, uh, it was Young Thug, right? Mm -hmm. Young Thug and Chris Brown. Like I said, for me, it's like a job. Yeah. So it's very professional. Every time I do like a music video, it's not like, oh, we're. Like buddy, buddy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, I don't know, I want to represent myself well on yeah. these kind of like, I don't know what to call them, like whatever you i want to represent myself on well these job yeah. sites. on these job sites because that's what it is at yeah, the end absolutely. of the day like it's a job for me now i don't yeah. really look at them as other people look at them now right mm -hmm. right how many um, music videos have you been in a lot i can't even yeah. count them yeah, it's been a lot i don't know i mean sometimes i'm like in the background and like people don't notice me which yeah. is fine because i still get paid the same as people that are in the front so i'm like oh, i'll cool. do it whatever but what's that one that you were like uh the like the the actual main one though there was one that was like so There's hot she was so hot she was like <laughs> in this like uh studio or apartment and she was like a red light and she was just like okay. feeling herself <laughs> taking pictures what was the name of that song um don't put me on the spot because i've done so many fucking music videos at this point that like it's hard to count it's hard to like remember exactly which ones but like I said, for me, it's like a career now. Mm -hmm. And so I don't really find it like, I mean, of course, it's so exciting for me and I'm so grateful. But like, it's not as exciting to me as it is for other people who like hit me up. Like, yeah. oh, my God, I seen you in this. Like, yeah. I can't believe you're doing this. Like, which it makes me really happy to have people from like home hit me up and be like, I seen you. Like, yeah. I'm, you know, you're doing amazing. But for me, I'm just like. Are all the job? music videos, have you been like. Are they like the same like as like for example the go crazy one? Is it like an organized? It looks like an organized mess, right? I mean, but is it like very organized? Like even though they make it seem like it's a shit show, it is very organized. Okay. Yes, like everything. So we get this list of like this is on this time, this is on this time, okay. like and it's very. You have to stick to the script. Okay, cool. Um, even though it looks like it, there's no script. Certain things, certain videos. Yes, and certain videos. Are no. some are some videos? I guess what I'm trying to get some to is, are videos some videos are more like parties, than others? and yeah. and okay. there, there's a camera there, That's it. Okay. Yeah. That <laughs> and awesome. you're like drinking and having fun, and there's a camera, and you're just like you know living your life. It's very authentic and natural. And others, they're like, okay, pretend you're partying, you know, oh. and there's no alcohol, and you're there, and it's like you're pretending. It's is it acting. Hard to pretend to party. I think I've partied enough in my life where I can. You know how you I act. Pretend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. can pretend, yeah. but um, it's definitely hard when you're there for like hours and. Do they feed you? That's important to yeah, me. Yeah, they know feed it. you. I always ask how we do today. To. Like, yeah. Is it good stuff? Yeah. 
like lobster? I feel like a lot of the times it depends on like, or like the Chick-fil-A? artist. It depends on the artist yeah. and like. Would you have to go crazy? The budget. He had like salmon and salads wow. and stuff. Yeah. When I was on the music <laughs> video, we just had Burger King. No, I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, How was that? That sounds awesome. No, no yeah. We get fed. I know. I'm free first. alcohol, right? I'm assuming. Some we are allowed to drink and others we're not. No. But how does the artist treat the girls? Is he cool to them or is he treat yeah. them bad? Or is he like very professional? Oh, okay. I've yeah. heard, and you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. <laughs> that the artist like handpicks certain girls he wants to hang out with after. <laughs> <laughs> yes have you have no. you heard about that at all? I've heard about it. I've never experienced. It. Okay, for sure. <laughs> I just think it's so interesting. Like, how many times did you shoot that one? Like the very beginning where you're. It's like a minute in. I know. I'm a good friend. I know when she's in there. I'm in it in. You're the first. That's <laughs> the first counted. time. I've seen him. Yeah. I'm like, that's Asia. He's like, the, the first two. time you're in the video, like how many times you shoot that one scene? Like a bunch of times? Honestly, that first scene, probably like 10 times. It, Fuck. It's wow. just because they, they like to get a bunch of angles of the same and scene so they could cut it together. Oh, okay. Like there's so much that goes into production. Yeah. So that two minute video that you guys see, like I said, I was there for 12 hours yeah. filming straight. So like that 12 hours of us, on camera got condensed into the two minutes Dude, that, that you saw like my sister's like instagram post like i love my sister she <laughs> loves but she, like so i had a graduation uh party when i graduated state this past year mm -hmm. and um this year actually in may and i'm like hey i need pictures like can you take pictures for me she's like okay for sure the next day, I'm like, hey, send me the pictures. I got sent, like, over 300 pictures. And I'm like, Valeria, are you got to chill. Dude. I yeah. wanted, like, five. Yeah, <laughs> right. I wanted, like, five to post. <laughs> and she's like, well, this is how you're supposed to do it. And then yeah. you filter. I'm like, I, have, I don't have the energy for that. I'm yeah. like, that's crazy, though. That's insane. It is insane. And I respect what the production team. And, like, Chris Brown is, like, the producer, what do you call it, director of all his videos. So, like, oh, cool. uh, what he wants, like, is what goes. Gets done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's. Like you've seen all of Chris Brown's music videos, yeah. they're like amazing. So his like dancing is amazing, like choreography. everything, right? Awesome. Yeah. yeah, I think if you see me in the video, there's like certain parts where I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> this shit is crazy because yeah. I go crazy. It, right? it, it was my right. It was like yeah. mind blowing to yeah. be there, just experiencing, you know, all of his talent and yeah. everything that he does, and so I was like shit go crazy then yeah, yeah. you know that's awesome yeah it was how fun. does uh music videos compare to being on wild and out because when you're on that that was a big <laughs> fucking deal like everybody here was like holy shit deja's on wild and out um I, to me like i said i don't want to downplay it because i am so grateful for every opportunity that i have but to me now at this point in my life like it's my job and i i don't view it as exciting as everybody else does like i said it's your nine but to five. <laughs> right um, I love doing music videos because it's so fun. Like the atmosphere is amazing, and like obviously the artists are like, it's cool to be doing their music videos and being yeah. presented to the world right. in their art. But there's nothing like Wild and Out. I love Wild and Out so much. It's like in front it's of a area. live studio yeah. audience. It's very like real. Like it's not scripted and like it's just funny to see what they come up with on the spot and like you know you kind of feel like an audience member too like you're like this is hilarious yeah. and I'm part of it and, and they have like all these guests on and stuff yeah, like that. yeah and yeah, it's so yeah, cool awesome. and like we have this like back room where we can like hang out and like just and eat eat <laughs> yeah I'm so curious if he's they hung he's, he's hungry like he's <laughs> obviously hungry um yeah like. I've had so much fun and I'm so, so, so grateful to have been a part of that. But there's nothing I don't think that I've done that has compared to doing Wild and Out. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So as her best friend, right, quote unquote, because apparently she was. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you like, how do you like, I'm sure people hit you up like that know you're her best yeah, friend. Like, people. Oh, like Deja, isn't that like, how do you. Like, what's your experience with that? And how do you take that in? Or how do you respond to that? You know, it's like, I'm kind of like living vicariously through her life. And yeah. it's like, and she always invites me every step of the way. Like, yes, she's right, like in Atlanta and she's no. like, come to Atlanta, I'll fly you out. And I'm like, you know, I have work, you know, like I, oh my I never actually right. make it to these. If states, you ask us, we'll definitely. Yeah. But I'm, like, now I know I'm so yeah. fucking proud of her and I like show her off any chance that I get. Awesome. Yeah. And I'm like uh, genuinely her number one fan. Like I, I love yeah. her so much. Um, and so when people tell me like, oh my God, like I saw Deja, like random ass people, like old coworkers, like people don't know Deja, barely even know me. They're like, I saw Deja on Wild <laughs> I saw her in this video and I'm like, 
thanks. Like, what am I? I don't. Yeah. I don't know what to say to that. You yeah. know. So it could like, be a little awkward sometimes. I think it's a little think awkward. It is. But yeah. she she does it with so much like grace like know. yeah cool i feel Me like too. you're so graceful about it and like every time <laughs> there's like a new music video or like a wild and out episode me and her mom and her sisters get her sister gets so excited. We'll have like a whole like wine night and like we'll just sit down in front of the TV and just be like replay it. Like, yeah, we, just get we so had something similar. Excited, like, <laughs> we get so. I want to be invited. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's like, it. I mean, it's someone that you're proud of. Like, if you're someone's like you're genuinely someone's friend, like you genuinely fuck with them, like you're so excited yeah. for their yeah. accomplishments yeah. and like that's a huge. You're a wild and out like you're hanging yeah. out with nick cannon like, yeah, that's crazy. Oh, please, uh, but you yeah. know like you're hanging out like with like it. some big names and like she's in like these dope music videos and people try to play it cool sometimes and then they get drunk and they're like so your best friend deja's on this music video and sometimes <laughs> i won't even know and i'm like no fucking way and they'll show me and i'm like you didn't fucking tell me you what didn't the tell fuck me this. Yeah. because like, like i like, said i don't know i'm such an awkward person that i just don't like yeah make a big deal about it i guess you don't you're very humble I made a big deal when he was in Alabama. I right. Was like, he was there, and I, I was remember like, remember that. People would come up to me, you know, people that we knew or whatever, like, yeah. oh, doesn't your like, friend play in Alabama? I'm like, fuck yeah, he plays Wait, Alabama. Right. He's in Alabama. I'm, I'm, he plays play football. football. Oh, dope. Wow. So, <laughs> like, yeah. so I, you know, know, I got I my famous. I point of that one picture. <laughs> my famous <laughs> best friend. Wow. Yeah, blue check mark over here, guy. Come on. I wish. Um, <laughs> but people would tell me all the time, like, like my parents knew, like, my mom would watch the Alabama games. Like, mm-hmm. you know, we're like, he's not on the field but he's there my, yeah. my friend's there like I, I love that him. you know yeah, yeah. it's like okay. biggest fan like I, I became an Alabama fan because of him yeah. I, mean, I feel like that's a good friend mm-hmm. thing you know like yeah. okay so you said you're not enticed by like the big life and all that stuff that yeah. she's doing she hates it who's the one person she would have to hang out with where you're like okay I'm down like I'm, I'll meet you there like famous person I like, no yeah she's um, like I'm with Drake like ooh, no not probably even. like Bad Bunny no I don't like Bad Bunny <laughs> like that um Probably the weekend. If it was a weekend, really? I'd be like, I'm fucking there right now. Like, book me a ticket. Fuck work. I don't care. I'm going. Like, the weekend. I don't know how. I've never heard, like, I'm any, not into the weekend thing. I'm like not into but the girls weekend freak the fuck oh, out. Oh, I love the weekend. the weekend. I don't get it. He seems kind of awkward. Like, I don't know. Like, what is it? His voice. It's, it's, what about the looks? And, like, like it something about, like, the way his mouth just moves. And you're just like, wow. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ooh. That's fucking weird. Right. And you're like that about Drake. Day. I fucking love Drake. Dude. Like, he would, like, People, yeah, so I can't way. say this because living in LA, when you say shit like this, you're like thirsty because it, it could happen. You could yeah. meet could this happen, person yeah. very easily. Mm-hmm. That's realistic. So you're still a human. Sorry, babe. Yeah. But <laughs> if I were to meet Drake, clearly I would have a little fangirl inside of me yeah. that because I think he's so cute, so fine, fine. like very fine, and like. Exactly. Josh's thoughts. I'd fangirl too. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, and you know what? Like I said before, this is a career for me. I do not get like starstruck anymore. It's yeah. so normal for me. But I feel like I would get a little starstruck over Drake. And I, I don't like to admit that. But also, if you ever said you're hanging out with like Canelo, I'd be like, Ooh. Canelo? Okay. Canelo. You know, he lives right here, right? He lives really oh, close. Oh, let's by. go. Yeah. He's Come always on. training in Chula Vista. He lives by the gated area. Honestly, like I'm not really like down he to meet him. Yellow like, Lamborghini. He used to really. We're well, going. We'll be back. Be a security at. Time <laughs> I'm more into meeting him in like the gym than I am to meeting him in person because oh. like people are two completely different people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like so, I look up to him in the gym. I used to work at a bar here, the Tavern Bowl. R.I.P. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like Tavern Bowl. I used to be a security well, guy there. No, no longer a thing. The one no longer the thing one here. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah, the one in downtown. But there's still others. Come visit us because I work there right now. Um, but he would come. He came in a couple times to bowl. Coolest guy ever. Like, mm-hmm. coolest guy, because he's from Jalisco, Guadalajara, mm-hmm. my family's there. Like, All the horses, in. too. He's, like, yeah, really he loves into horses. horses. Yeah, oh, so he wow. comes in really short, 5'8", five, 5'7". Yeah, five, he's seven, tiny. But super cool guy. Uh, came in the bowl. I guess he really likes the bowl. Uh, he's and, uh, fine he's, as fuck, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. If you're watching. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. In case you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this question might be kind of weird. Okay. Okay, bear with me. Okay. So people claim that Michael Jordan has like a light shining on him at all times. Have you heard about this? No. Okay. My dad, my dad met him. He said the same thing. Like no matter where Michael Jordan would walk, you like couldn't take your eyes off him. Like there's something about him. Oh, like not literally speaking. F- okay. No, but like fi- like in superstar. Right? But no, he's no, Michael no, no, Jordan. No. But but like if I saw like George straight, I'd be like, like, yeah, exactly. Like among okay. superstars, he's a superstar. Okay. Yeah. You okay. know where I'm going with yeah. this? Yeah. I have, okay. So have you felt that way about anybody? I don't want to be a hater, but no. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. There's no hater vibes. Like, 
okay, like when I met Chris Brown, like he's such a inviting, welcoming person. Like we shot that music video in his home, oh, where, that's he, his where he lives. Oh, yeah. oh, that's cool. So, like to have invited people that you don't know and like yeah. the whole production team into somewhere where you live. Like, I feel like that should just speak for the kind of person. Like, he is, he's very, like, welcoming and inviting, and you don't really feel like... Make you feel like he's But like at the same celebrity. time, it's Chris Brown. Like, mm-hmm. he's yeah. one of the, I feel like, living legends of our generation. So, yeah. Hell yeah. like, of course, you're like, oh, Chris Brown. You met Wiz, too. Yeah, I That's, did. I mean, he seems like a chill guy. He, seems <laughs> he cool. was really chill, yeah. yeah. When she met I think Wiz, everybody... Though, she sent me a picture of Wiz, and I was, like, never really, like, that big into him, but... Seeing his skin, I was like, bro, what the great fuck skin. does he use on his skin? Need is the his skin, skin really that great? She's yeah. like, it is. He's like, yeah. yeah. Skincare. Yeah. yeah. Don't sleep on skincare. <laughs> Don't sleep <laughs> on it, guys. That's a big deal for girls. So how did you get into the life you live? You worked at a day club, correct? So, okay, you've known me for years. Mm-hmm. I feel like I've always kind of been like unapologetically me and like i feel like i've always given off this energy that's like i like being sexy i like being feminine and sexual and you know whatever so i feel like because of that i've just been put in positions where i've gotten to where i'm at now like get paid for it you know what i mean like (laughs) just being me has led me to where i'm at because i never gave a fuck about what people thought I should be doing or right. Right. what I needed to be doing. I just was like, fuck it. I'm going to post these sexy pictures online. I had a thousand followers. Yeah. <laughs> like you guys are going to see what I see and what I want you to see. And it just started. You skyrocketing. Know, skyrocketing. Yeah. What was, uh, yeah. What was your big break essentially? <sighs> um, so when so Wild and Out came to San Diego to have the auditions, I am an extremely awkward person. She knows I wasn't going to audition. Mm-hmm. It was at my job and I did bottle service at the time. But like I said, like being this sexual energy has put me in the positions that I'm in now. I would have probably never worked bottle service if I didn't give a fuck about yeah. being half naked all the time. Yeah. So they came to my job mm-hmm. and I didn't audition. I, I was like, do it. Do it. Would, Everybody was like, it. you're going like, to get it. I'm like, I don't want to. Like, being in front of a camera and meeting celebrities and doing all this. Like, at the time, I was like, no. Like, yeah. I'm so awkward. I could never do that. So, I fucking. And when they went to the SDSU stadium. So, I fucking <laughs> walked by the casting director and she was like, what's your name? I'm like, Deja. And at the end of the night, when they announced the winners, they announced my name. But, like, I didn't even audition. I didn't even want to audition. I didn't even want to do it. And I even called my mom that night. Like, they called my name. I don't want to do it. She's like, you're going. Like, you're going. And I did it. And then the casting director pulled me aside and was like, hey, we want to invite you to do the actual show. And, like, fly to Atlanta in two days. And I called my mom again. I'm like, no, I'm not doing this. She's like, you're getting on that plane. So... I'm so grateful that I did it because it has literally opened so many doors for me, but I don't think I ever would have done it. And I don't know what energy just opened this door for me, but I really think it was just me being myself and like yeah. being like, fuck it. Yeah. I'm me. I'm going to do these things. And it's put me in so many positions that I am in. Yeah. What's your you long-term know? goal? Because hey, does it scare you that for girls, your window is so small? It's so small for like modeling and like doing what I'm doing. Um, my long term goal, I mean, of course, I want to be a model for as long as I can. I love do doing what I'm doing and I love doing music videos and I love being in front of the camera as I am. But eventually I do want to own my own casting agency and modeling agency and like give oh, cool. other girls the same opportunity that I've had. Yeah. Um, like girls who might not believe in themselves like I did and just so I'm working towards that and hopefully you'll see soon (laughs) do you like like LA do you do you stay in LA I mean you're in LA right now I live in LA I I like it and I don't like it it's definitely different from San Diego (laughs) it's definitely different from San Diego but you know me I I feel like I keep myself grounded I come down to San Diego often yeah Yeah. um because I don't I don't want to get too much in my head about shit and like 
I feel, I feel like, like people value that, different like, things up there. You're getting really wrapped up in that lifestyle. She'll just like be like, I'm going to spend a whole week here in San Diego. She mm. does spend a lot of time in San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll just spend a lot of time like just eating like at, what is it? TJ Oyster Bar yeah. or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Your old just, stomping like, ground. Yeah. yeah I yeah, love to just come like here that. and just remember who I am because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it's really easy when you move to LA to, to forget who you are because yeah. there's so much going on all the time. They call it the devil's playground. And it yeah. really is that. Like if you're vulnerable. Yeah. This shit will eat, eat you, you alive. Up, you like and LA, right? I like. I actually want to move to LA. I can't stand LA. Yeah. I'm from San Diego. I was born in TJ in San Diego. Like for me, San Diego has the best Mexican food. It's like it right. is what it is. Like LA's Truly. trash. Sorry. San Diego like, has the best has Mexican Twitter food. Okay. Yeah. Like Mexican. Food. I have a Twitter war every time really? I tweet she anything. Gets death threats. I get okay. death really? threats. Yeah. They're like, shit. "How dare you say San Diego has the best Mexican food?" I'm like. LA is it absolute is trash. I have friends in LA and they're like, dude, you trash. gotta go to this place. I'm like, nah, bro. Disgusting. I'm not even gonna waste my time and ruin my taste buds right. to go to LA. Right. <laughs> we had Vizia tacos in LA. Uh, we went to an Aventura concert, huge deal. And like the next day, you we got birria. We got birria, and they were like, "Oh, this is the best birria ever." And we're like, uh, "None of us wanted to go Sick. except for my friend's man." And he's like, "Come on, guys, you're not gonna regret it." So we're like, "Okay." <laughs> so then we go. It's fucking trash, dude. It was I trash, and we were all mad at him, all quiet the entire ride back to San Diego because we we're like, "Fuck you, man!" That like, shit, what a waste, dude. Of my we were so right. mad. But I have a lot of LA friends now who are like born and raised there so they're like die hard like la best. mexican food yeah. and i'm like no, die hard san diego mexican yeah. food so i will literally get death threats on twitter yeah. and like you we're like texas mexican texas. bay area no, no. this that Look, oh I'm like, i was dude. stationed in texas and i can tell you i love my culture whatever and i love texas i'll probably move to texas mm-hmm. one day in my life tex-mex is ass it is trash i hate it, it looks gross. Like You'd the love cheese, it. The cheese, the yeah. cheese, they put it, sour cream. White people, cheese on everything. It's like weird white shit. people love that shit. Yeah. No offense. <laughs> Taco night here. You know, I always like had this thing that like um, Americans always put cumin in Mexican food, and no real Mexican person Has actually cumin. puts cumin in their yeah. food. What's it's cumin? Cumin is a spice. spice that smells like armpits. Uh, like it smells like actual. Um, I know what you mean. I don't know about armpits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the point is that San Diego is the, shit. It's the, closest, thing the, border. Border. It's the closest thing to the border. Why would you border. think? I like it doesn't make sense to me. I and if after really all of this, we'll move back to San Diego. This is my home. This is my life. Like I love it. Fucking expensive. It's the best. Yeah. LA is. Oh, I can just imagine. Yeah. I'm good. Okay. Yeah, like you get no a way. studio, no kitchen, no bathroom for fucking $20,000 a month. Yeah. Like it's, it's disgusting. The farthest I'll go is like Temecula. I'm done. I'm done. Temecula sucks. I grew up in Temecula. No, no, it sucks too. I'm just saying like that's like the farthest you'll push me. I have family in Temecula. I was like, I'm not going past this place. Okay. Is there anything you guys want to add to finish this out? You got to ask us. Oh, what do we ask them? I don't know. I'm not in the music video. I wasn't one, yes. Do you guys want to make one? Like, you guys as, like, a group of friends? Like, 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 guys, like Backstreet Boys? Style? Yeah. I don't have a good voice. <laughs> no. no. And I, I don't have a six-pack right I love now to, either. I love to sing, but I have How does it voice. feel to see, like, like you said, you've seen him go to Alabama, like, fellow yeah. Chula Vistans mm-hmm. I love that shit. succeed? I love that shit. I think it's, like, super awesome. Like, mm-hmm. uh, even though, yeah. like, even, like, Tony Jefferson, like, I don't really know him. Mm-hmm. We played football together and everything, but yeah. I love seeing the fact that they he represents San Diego. Yeah. I think it's a great. And the fact that he represents our high school and, like, our community. Mm-hmm. Like, when he went, I was like, that's, like, I saw, like, his shoulder pad on TV. Like, that's my boy, you know? Uh-huh. Like, I think it's cool as shit. I mean, I feel like if you're a true friend, you support each other, right? Yeah. You know, like you yeah. guys. Yeah. Regardless, there's no hating. I, there's also, I can be honest, there's people yeah. that I met that were like, oh, but Josh, doesn't, play. Even, Josh yeah. doesn't even play. Yeah. What the fuck do you care? He's, you're yeah, here and he's there. Right? Dude, I've gotten and I get a all, lot like, of that. Protective because like, I've known him since I was like six yeah. years old. You know? so it's I've like, gotten a lot of people too that try to talk at, like try to say something negative about Dej and I'm like whoa 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 yeah. that's my best friend yeah. I've heard a lot of things that like, people have said about me like oh she's slept her way there whatever no, the they don't know and shit. I haven't no. I'm like no. I I might you know and try that's to why be I'm sexy so but you like you, you really like earned your way there like you really got you. yourself there in like the most <laughs> cheers to that. like <laughs> humblest way like I- i've seen you you know so mm-hmm. it's like i'm very but proud it is of what you it is. and even if you even if you did like fuck it you did what you did but it's right. like you didn't so I mean. yeah but that comes with the but territory really jealous yeah so that's you know. haters hate yeah, no, haters haters hate. Hate. absolutely yeah. i refund my friends 
But that's what scares me about LA because people will fucking yeah. backstab you like crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's well, crazy. they'll do whatever they need to do to get to the top. Right. And they'll right. step on you. And that's, mm-hmm. that's pretty much anywhere. But yes, I'm assuming LA is like a. Yeah. It's magnified. It's a fucking jungle. Yeah. Okay. I'm good on my end. You guys don't have anything else? No, I'm good. Okay. Thank you guys for this episode. See you next time.